Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Logan of a Dragon House. Right next to me, I have Georgia of Avis. Avis. Um, fresh off the boat, guys. This guy's only been to America in like, what, six months six now? Six months, yeah. Six months. Uh, where are you coming from? I'm from Russia, Rostov on Don. This Rostov is my Fondon. city. That's your city. So, uh, you have a relative in uh, the Bay Area? Relative? Like a family? Yeah. Uh, only like my aunt and uh, cousins. I have here three mm -hmm. aunt and seven cousins. That's awesome. Now you will be fighting on our next upcoming event, the URCC Rumble in the Bay, the biggest promotion in Asia. They are coming into America and putting on a big show. Uh, I'm just happy to be the one that's been matchmaking for them and uh, putting on another big stack card for the URCC fans in Asia and also in America. So, Georgia, you are making a U.S. debut uh, in August 10. It's going to be a, a Cow Palace event. So, let's talk a little bit about your background. So, um, I know you come from Russia. What what martial art backgrounds do you have? Um, I started training with Muay Thai when I was 12. And I was training for seven years. And later, I started training mixed martial arts in mm -hmm. my city. The, the name of uh, gym that was pretty swift, it's really great gym. But right now I'm here in Bay Area, uh, I'm training in Dublin, right now my gym is CSA. That's pretty cool. So now you're trying to do mixed martial arts, I know your record is 3-3. Three and three. Um, I'm very curious about what you're going to do on the August 10th, so uh, making a U.S. debut, Chasing American Dream. So. Um, uh, now, your opponent is uh, Hugo Lujan, fighting out of extreme martial art in San Jose. Uh, have you studied your opponent? I just see, I just saw his fight, one fight or two fight, mm -hmm. and nothing new for me. I'm ready for this fight, but I just want, uh, I just want fight. Because I had supposed to fight on Dragon Heart 32. Yes. And how many people? Three or two people pull out, right? Yes. And not only in Dragon House, and also I have to fight on another organization. I just, I just want to fight in. Uh, just want to fight. Yeah. Doesn't matter <laughs> where, with who. Now I know you were fighting 145 pound and also 155 pound. You were kind of a smaller. A 155 pounder so this fight you step up you know at 155 against a little taller bigger opponent so now what's your game plan coming into this fight against Hugo Lujan look at me I'm smaller I know I'm smaller. <laughs> I, I feel no. comfortable that's I mean, awesome yeah um, I'm strong I'm fast and I have good uh, conditioning I'm ready for this fight Maybe he will be a little bit taller. I am 5'11", he is 6. Mm. That means he has skin leg. I will broke his leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So you're going to attack those legs, right? Yeah. So, I mean, for all the MMA fans out there who want to watch a firework, and I think this fight definitely a treat. For what I'm understanding, for what I know, more like you're going to be a striker, stand up, you know, stand up bang. And, uh, and then Hugo Lujan is usually ever over, too. All, always a striker and always trying to defend and take down. People don't want to stand up with him. This fight looked like it would be a very good matchup and a perfect uh, perfect idea for all the MMA fight fans to watching stand-up fireworks, you know, because some people coming to watch a fight, they might not understand the, the, what's, the, going on? Yeah, what's going on on the ground, wrestling. They, but if they see two guys kicking, punching, Definitely got to be a treat, you know. So um, now, what do you walk around weight? I know you're fighting at 155 pounds. 160. 160. Yes, 158, 160. So you don't cut weight at all? No. Hmm, that's awesome. Uh, I used to, when I was uh, half camp in uh, Dragon, uh, I, when I was uh, training for Dragon Heart 32, mm -hmm. I was walking 157, 158, and I start eat more because <laughs> right, you know? right. Prepare for the 155 yeah. pounds, so you're gonna eat a little bit more. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, this fight, at least in my understanding, you don't have to worry about too much groundwork. But Luko's always coming and ready to, to, you know, stand up and bang high kicks and one-two long jab, long punches. 
look like you already got the, the game plan figured out how to deal with him. Do, do you think all the five fans will have a chance to see you take him down? If I will take down for him or he? Yeah, do you think you will take him down? No. You're gonna stand up? I will up. stand up. Like, no takedown. If he don't scare, stand up with me. We'll show an amazing fight for, for me and for his uh, fans. Uh, I just need to tell him, just be careful about yourself. Take care, put you in the bubble, don't hurt yourself, and let's go show this amazing fight. For That's fans. awesome. Well, August 10, all the guys expecting firework, come check out the URCC slash Dragon House Rumble in the Bay at the Cow Palace. I remember Cow Palace, the last MMA fight they have in Cow Palace was 2004, 15 years ago. Now, 15 years later, we are finally put on another epic event mixed martial art cage fight in the Cow Palace. Tickets selling online, um, check out DragonHouseMMA.com and also check out URCC, uh, the online ticket sale Cow Palace, don't miss it out. And uh, this is a huge stack card. Um, please subscribe our YouTube channel and give us a little bit of love and support. We we'll keep putting up the epic event for you guys and uh, Dragon House 33 is coming after August, will be November 9th. Don't miss it out. And if I don't want to get on this card, hit us up. This is another huge stack card now. If Hugo Luhan watched this video, what do you have to say to him? Take care of yourself. Don't hurt yourself until June, uh, until August 10th. <laughs> That's awesome. So Hugo, train careful and don't hurt yourself. Um, you know, save for the August 10th and put on the firework. We'll see you guys out there. Now, if people want to follow you, um, how can people follow you on Instagram or Facebook? I have on Instagram my uh, Georgi Eros. How do you spell it? G E O R G I E I D A S. Georgi Eros. Awesome. So all the fans want to hit him up. Uh, people want to buy tickets, come watching you fight. Make sure you hit up Georgia on Instagram. He's training represent a Dumbling, California, CSA, one of the top camps in the Bay. Uh, don't miss it out. Um, this is a, a definitely a, a, a firework, unexpected um, outcome on this fight, and I'm really looking forward to watching this matchup at the lightweight division. And um, any last one you want to shout out to any sponsor, any special people in line you want to shout out to? Uh, I don't have any sponsor, but if some people want to sponsor me, I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You guys know how to find him on Instagram. Hit him up. George is here today at the Dragon House. It's July 29th today on Saturday afternoon. Awesome to have you on board. Um, any last word? That's it. Goodbye. All right. We'll see you guys out there, August. Thank you, Daviel, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.